Quite some time ago, I stopped asking how low the Obama administration can go. There is no bottom for this administration, and Obama's left-wing extremist defense secretary just took him even lower. Bradley Manning, the homosexual soldier who felt that he wasn't treated right by the Army, decided to get revenge by releasing 750,000 secret documents to America's enemies. Manning is serving a well-deserved 35-year prison sentence for that, and he's a good example of why the military, not politicians, should decide who's allowed to join. Well, the offended little cross-dressing traitor wants to be a girl. So while American veterans who served honorably are dying because of lousy Veterans Administration services, Bradley the criminal is being transferred from military custody to a civilian facility where he can undergo sex change surgery. And guess who gets to pay for it? Us. At least those of us who still work for a living and pay taxes. I tell you, never before in the USA have there been so many good reasons for a tax revolt. The outrageous misuse of tax dollars by arrogant political hacks is nothing less than criminal. The overriding philosophy of the Tea Party is this. The government that collects tax money has a moral and ethical duty to spend that money wisely. America needs the Tea Party now more than ever. The United States Congress is the very definition of political retardation. So, what does that make the taxpayers who allow such shenanigans? Hmm. We need to make some tough decisions. The Democrat Party is absolutely corrupted beyond salvation, and the Republican Party is getting there. It's time for Americans to have a political party that they can trust. The two big ones are perverted to the core. So, do we overrun and try to save the Republican Party, or we do, do we choose a minor party and turn it into a major party? Hmm. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching. America, bless God, again.